was to find the train station with the longest name in Wales, which we did. So yeah. And we have to say the name and read it out loud. Jair will do that for you, because I, I have to film. <laughs> I will try. <laughs> it's not that easy. So we've got I think I did it quite good. <laughs> On the ferry, as you can see, um, our room is in the quiet zone because we've got a pet-friendly room. Um, as you may know, Nina is not able to be in the car by herself. So we booked a room. And this is our beautiful room. <laughs> it's quite small. It has four beds. And it has a shower, which we will for sure use. <laughs> Ta-da! And a toilet. We're ready. We are back in our car, about to leave the ferry, and we made it. We were kind of getting sick in the beginning <laughs> because we laid on the bed and yeah that wasn't a good idea so we sat on the bed the whole time Nina slept through and that was no problem we watched a TV halfway because there was an announcement and then the TV stopped and it didn't carry on so yeah we just talked we didn't have any reception yeah um, so we just talked we did the menu, so we know what we're going to cook. Yeah, and what we have to go and get. Go and buy yeah. the grocery store, because we are quite empty. We've got some potatoes left, and what else? Some chicken. So basically that's what we're having tonight. <laughs> the rest we will have to go and get. So first we're heading to the Decathlon, because we need boots, rain boots. We and need gas. some gas for cooking. And then we might get some groceries and are heading to our first destination, which is somewhere in the north. So we came to this beautiful area, I don't know where it is, what the name it is, um, because we wanted to see a waterfall and it's supposed to be somewhere back there and we just wanted to go for an evening walk um, to check it out so we can do it again tomorrow and take some pictures, but there are no dogs allowed, so guess we're leaving again tomorrow. <laughs>
So today is the Wings for Life run. It starts Ooh. in eight minutes. We are ready to go. I will go running and I will take Nina for a walk. Because <laughs> she cannot jog anymore. She's too old for that. Yeah. So basically the Wings for Life run is a charity run. Um, you run for those who can't yeah. anymore because it's a spinal research um, charity. Yeah. Yeah. And you start running and within, I think ab after about 10 minutes, there is a catcher car leaving and it will drive on a certain pace and every kilometer it drives a little bit faster and you run so as far as the catcher car catches you. And when he did, you're out. Yeah. Yeah. And normally, what well, it is in, in the whole world, they all start at the same time. With us, it's 12 o'clock in Switzerland. Our friends, they are starting at 1 o'clock. <laughs> and um, it is taking place every year. And this is the 10th time now that you start. <laughs> <laughs> and usually you have like this whole event, but yeah. In Ireland there is no, so we're just running with the app. We did it during Covid as well in Switzerland, That's where we did 10k. I will not do this here, because um, I haven't been doing a lot lately, so yeah. We'll see how far we come. The catch a car has started now, after half an hour. And... Himmel, Ars und Zwirn! Du bist bestimmt schon bei deiner Geburt aus dem Kreißsaal gelaufen, wenn du heute unterwegs bist. Jetzt sind schon zwei Kilometer. Kilometer. But, I must say, I'm walking in the sand, so that's quite difficult. Wonder what Joel is doing. So I did 8.44 kilometers um, running, and now I'm walking because the catch car is still around kilometer behind me, and I really can't run anymore. I've been running for an hour. It's really hot. It's going uphill, downhill, up and downhill. The last kilometer, I stupidly decided to go on the beach. It was really nice. Um, it was really hard to run on a sandy beach, yeah. driving for about half an hour and we really had to pee and the best thing about having your home with you you also have your toilet with you so we just stopped right here Um, you see these signs everywhere and then you have like this this wave with a camera thing and there you know that there is a picture point um, so we're currently at a picture point it's called Ross Goily um, it has a stunning view actually everywhere you stop over um, stunning view amazing scenery and um, yeah the wild atlantic way is amazing the streets are quite narrow um, but you are able to pass because you have like these round things on the side where you can stop 
Um, yeah, <laughs> that's basically it. <laughs>